Setting up a basic EIGRP configuration can be a fairly simple task. If we're just supporting IP version 4, we can define the EIGRP autonomous system. We can give a single network statement that says every interface should participate in this EIGRP autonomous system and we're done on that router. However, it starts to get a little bit more complicated when we get into supporting IP version 6 because then we go into interface configuration mode for the various interfaces that we want to participate in the EIGRP autonomous system and it gets even more complicated if we want to start tweaking things such as setting up the variance feature, configuring timers, setting up an EIGRP stub router. And what we can find ourselves doing in a more complex configuration is bouncing back and forth between different configuration modes. We might need to do some things in interface configuration mode. And if we have EIGRP supporting both IP version 4 and IP version 6, we're going to need to go into EIGRP router configuration mode for IP version 4, and we'll need to go into another EIGRP router configuration mode for IP version 6. And going back and forth between all these different configuration modes not only makes it more complex for us to configure, it can be more difficult to troubleshoot. It can be more difficult to visualize what's really happening here. Well, the great news is there's a new approach to EIGRP configuration, and it's called named EIGRP. Named EIGRP is going to take the commands that we would normally give under these various configuration modes and put them all together. We can consolidate them into something called an EIGRP virtual instance. This is a hierarchy under which we can configure all of our EIGRP commands. No longer do we need to bounce back and forth between all these different configuration modes. Instead, we just stay in this one hierarchy. And in this hierarchy, we can define address families and go into address family configuration mode. We might, for example, have an address family for IP version 4. Maybe another address family for IP version 6, and it's under address family configuration mode where we set up the general EIGRP configuration commands, such as setting the router ID or designating a router as an EIGRP stub router. Another configuration mode is address family interface configuration mode. First we go into address family configuration mode and then we go into address family interface configuration mode. And commands entered here are the types of commands that you might enter under interface configuration mode with traditional EIGRP configuration. Just as a couple of examples of things we can do here, we could specify that certain interfaces are passive interfaces. We could set up timers for interfaces. There's also an address family topology configuration mode. Here we enter commands that have a direct impact on the router's EIGRP topology table. For example, setting up the variance feature, setting up the redistribution feature. And what we're going to do over the next couple of videos is show you examples of named EIGRP configuration. We'll start out with a really basic example, and then we'll take a look at a more advanced example where we are tweaking some of these parameters. But before we move on, I want to make you aware that there are a couple of additional configuration modes for named EIGRP. Nothing that you're responsible for as part of the route curriculum, but I want to make you aware that they exist. There is service family configuration mode and service family interface configuration mode. These are similar to the address family and address family interface configuration modes. We can use these service family modes when we're advertising something other than IP routes. For example, I teach a lot of courses in the collaboration track. And in those courses, we get into something called SAF, the Service Advertisement Framework, which is something built into Cisco IOS that allows us to use EIGRP to advertise various services. That's an example of why you might use the Service Family Configuration Mode. For our purposes, though, in the route course, we're not concerned with service families. We're concerned with address families. And in our next example, we're going to take a look at a really basic configuration of a named EIGRP configuration.